Okay. So again, I'm gonna try to explain. I didn't even make a command for it or anything, but my my boyfriend is a level designer and he has been working on several games actually. Uh, maybe at some point I can show off some other games too. But but with two T's, today we're gonna play his latest game that he has been working on. Him and like uh, a bunch of other people, of course. And I just wanted to show it to you guys. Because I thought it's uh, it's very interesting. It was at the end of you his uh, right studies, decision. basically. And now that the internship is about to start, right now we're on summer break. But this was the last game that I have been working on. Let me just find it real quick. I hope it uh, captures it properly. And I'm gonna pause the music as well. It's supposed to be a little bit of a spoopy game. Okay, the sound might um, capture right away, but maybe not the picture. So let's see. Also, thank you for the follow. Hey there, Georgie. Uh, could you come over real quick? You know, to the old Swedish house I'm watching for my grandma. I uh, kind of need your handyman skills again. There we go. Something broke and it's cold and dark everywhere. And there's pizza in it for you if you come. Uh, I'll be waiting in the basement. Bye. <laughs> Soft blobby, yeah. <laughs> it kind of suits your emotes. That one right now just looks like a blob. Can I already show this? Yeah, I mean, it's not really available for anybody to play. So, uh, <laughs> okay. The game is called Tuck for Circuit. It's Swedish, which means uh, thanks for visiting. Or thanks for the visit. Um, yeah, let's just dive right into it, I guess. I'm gonna make it a highlight, so you can watch it back again. So basically, somebody asked me to come here. All right, let's see what Lee broke this time. I thought he'd learned something by now. Does this not look horror to you? <laughs> Supposed to be, yes. Look at all this toilet paper, isn't that horror enough? You can grab all the things in the game. I may have to put up the volume a little bit. Let me just put it up. Okay, normally it's on minus 9. Let's put it... Okay, I'm gonna make it a little louder. So in case there is something, then you can actually hear it. <laughs> Look at this beautiful toilet paper with hearts on it and everything. And these creepy pictures. Everything's very creepy. Beer cans in the toilet or in the bathroom. Shower curtains? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, we continue. It does look nice overall. Lights, more creepy pictures, very dark outside. A grandfather's clock. <laughs> I just remember when he was googling uh, grandfather's clock as references. You could always do that typo by accident. Look at this old stove. Look at the style of this old apartment. You know, from like from like a bunch of years ago. This thing actually looks exactly like uh, your mom's. You sink made the right, right now. decision. <laughs> Mango Yotku. Hello, hello. What a name. Look at this. Look at this phone and everything. These plates, so... They look like the plates that we have here as well. And this candle. And of course, this one is like very... Very Swedish. It seems like every Swedish family has this in their household, which I find weird because ever since I moved from Germany, it was like, whoa, you guys have your flag like everywhere. Like we don't represent our country like that as much. 
or as much not at all, honestly. I'm pretty sure it wasn't You made the right song. decision. You made the right decision. Okay, we continue. Welcome, welcome. Look at these pictures. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually the people that that have been working on the game, but like edited in. This one is closed. Look how dark it is outside. But I gotta say, um, really well done by everybody who has been working on that. So good job, everybody. <laughs> Where will it be available? How much are you guys gonna take for this? It's basically a school project. So technically, can't you can't. Without a handle. One billion dollars. One billion dollars. This one opened. Weren't you supposed to be house sitting for your grandparents? Look at how. Oh, pizza! Wait, was that here before? Oh man, I want pizza now. That looks like pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni salami. What is this? Ashtray. More books. More Swedish... Swedish things. Okay. I turned off the background music as well to make it more spooky. More spooky! <laughs> this isn't... Wait, is that supposed to be this... This emote? Is it this? <laughs> is that is that supposed to be that? I only just noticed that. Easy dishes uh when you get visitors. Like easy uh like cooking stuff. Sorry, your emotes. Oh boy. Okay, since I've played this game before, um, I kind of know what's what's gonna happen or what's going on. But you find this box, and you find these weird markings on the box, and you may have noticed them before somewhere. Okay, that's back to the game, I think. I think everything should be explained in words, like, otherwise. True. Was this here before? I don't remember seeing this. Maybe you guys uh, some added stuff. some... Yeah, you added some things. Okay, this is Swedish for they... Or it can hear you. Wait. Oh. Yeah, this has been here before. You're gonna eat dinner in a bit? Yeah, do it. Enjoy your food. Thanks for the raid again. Hey, uh, Lee, is, uh, is that you? Oh, Georgie, you're here. Uh, okay, so I'm ready to leave. I, I'd rather call a professional. I don't care what happens anymore. Are you okay? You sound weird. Can you open the door? Uh, it's, it's locked, and this door won't even budge. How did that happen? Uh, I... I can't remember. Lee, you haven't been drinking, have you? No. Look, my, my grandpa has some kind of toolbox. I remember he keeps extra keys in there for some reason. There's gotta be a spare one for this door. I remember seeing it in the old office behind you. Right. Sorry for asking. I just wanted to make sure. Don't worry about it. Just please hurry. All right. And then you take a look Locked. at this. Strange symbols on it too. Maybe Lee knows something? You hate puppets? A lot of people do. Like mannequins and like these things because... Or dolls. Hey, that box is locked and it's got some strange symbols on it. Does that mean anything to you? That my grandpa is paranoid. He might have already seen those symbols in the house. They might hold a clue. I... Please hurry, I don't want to... I want to get out of here. 
<laughs> who has that in the home, right? Well, funny enough, even Panda's mom has one of these. Because she, um... I think she likes to, like, sew her own clothes and stuff. Like, as a hobby. So she actually has one of these things here as well. So everything feels very... I guess, Swedish. In a way. Wow, what a nice picture. Yeah, she has some, like, some clothes on it. So it's not that empty, but, uh... Here is one of the symbols. Spoopy. I hope the volume is alright. It might be a little too loud in the end. It wasn't here, it was here. A little bit of a puzzle. And this was the first one that we saw. You never know, if you turn around there might be something. Is this a speedrun? <laughs> I'm trying to not just play through it fast because I know what's happening, but I just want to show to people, you know. Alright, that's all the three symbols, so we go back to the box. Hey. Is this the basement door handle? I should see Lee. Alright, let's ask him what the heck is going on. Hey, no key, but I got a door handle? Are you there? Basement. The box I was talking about is probably in the basement then. Whoa, you sound really off. Are you okay? Just tired. I think. Be careful when you go down there. I can't explain it, but I felt like there were eyes glued to me at all times. What? I don't know, okay? I just don't know. <laughs> so tired. Okay, down to the basement we go. Another spoopy thing that you always see in like movies, like it's it's already really dark and weird here. Everything looks weird, the pictures are creepy. And then you're supposed to go down to the basement? Yeah. Is this person bleeding out? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Um There was something I wanted to say. Can't remember what it was now. Goldfish memory. Anyhow, we go down. We go down! I crashed! Oh shit. Oh shit. What happened? I just crashed. <laughs> hey there, Georgie. Uh, I can select a level though, so it should quick. be okay. You know, to the old Swedish house I'm watching for my grandma. Uh, Ew. Yeah, I saw the speed run though, again. Jupiter. Something broke and it's that my partner has been doing in like, what was it, eight seconds? There's pizza in it for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was fixed. Bye. But uh, yeah, obviously I'm not gonna do that. Crazy, when you're trying to break your own game. Hold up, let me just close this one real quick. Okay, so this was the first part that we just did and then we went to the basement, so hopefully that's gonna work. It hasn't it hasn't had any is issues before, so I don't know what happened. My stream is like, no, this is too creepy, can't, can't continue. Ew. That is new too, isn't it? I don't think I've seen that before. Oh yeah. I don't think the last time I played this uh, it had that. I should hurry. <laughs> he can hear me or it can hear me. <laughs> they never sleep. More of these things. I can't even pick them up. Um boxes. You can throw the boxes. Oh well. It's kind of like me in real life. Can't I can't throw things very far. More of this creepy lady. 
Wait, is this one new? Evacuation plan. Oh, yeah, this is new. I don't remember this. Okay, so this is where we went in. Emergency exit, but there was like... Oh. And I can hear the water everywhere. That's new. Well? What was that? A super thick. <laughs> I think you guys put couches there. I don't think that was there before. Huh. That's nice to see some changes then because it's been a little while since I last played it. So I don't know how loud it was for you guys. I can hear it. I can hear it. Yep. Yeah. I saw his booty cheeks. But he walked away. And this water. Oh, he's coming this way. I guess we uh we just go somewhere else. Wait, this room? Was it connected? I don't remember. Oh, crap. Okay. He's <laughs> naked. Naked. Okay, let's see. I know that he was able to react to certain things. Okay. Hmm, he's going the other way. Hope he doesn't hear me. <laughs> so we're basically down here to look for the key. Oh, I was already able to click that. Oh, did he hear? Oh no! He can hear me click those things? I see feet. I don't know if that was the case before, if you click the things. Man, you have- you've been changing the game, actually. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, well, there was another um, one at the start. Oh, crap. I can't tell where he's going. Oh crap. Oh crap. A little, uh. Uh oh. He actually came back. Click the other thing. I don't know if he was following me. Damn. There have been changes to the game. That's a huge basement, right? What a weird place, you know, like the top is already like weird. You don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me here. Let's see. Not sure if he's coming this way. No, he left again. So did I click this one or not? Oh. Please. Very impressive. Tap 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 tap. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. I can hear his footsteps. Okay, we clicked the things. Whatever whatever that does. Um, I may just bring my my box with me. That's what I did the first time I played it, actually. <laughs> just carry a box with me. It also kind of... Uh, like, I can't see much because of it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not gonna be too noisy. My comfort box. Yeah, so I can just like throw it at his face and then he's just gonna be like... Aah! 
Not sure where he's patrolling to. Oh crap, I dropped it. Oh, okay, he's that way. Wait. Um, I'm kind of puzzled. I was supposed to go... Was it here? I don't know if you... Hmm. I felt like... I feel like... I kind of remember this part here. But this is not where I was supposed to go. And I think these drawers are... Uh, kind of new too, maybe. Oh! <laughs> Guess we're not going that way. I don't know if he can hear me if I sprint. Oh. Okay, I sprinted. Maybe I shouldn't have. <gasps> Crap. I think he can hear me when I'm running. Do I what? Do you mean Fika? I'm just running in circles right now, like an idiot. I don't normally do that, no. Oh crap. He was right at me. I'm actually surprised he didn't see me right there. Put the monster in the box, yeah. Easy. Like a Pokeball. Just throw the box and he's gonna be in there. Imagine. If I would see something like that, that sounds like this, and looks like the way it does, I would not be running around the basement like that at all. Oh my god. I'm kind of confused because there is one path, like, there should be another room, I think. Because we don't even have any light either. Oh no, did you see me? Uh oh. I guess we run. Oh my god. I don't think I'm safe here. I don't know if you can just go back, but then you can't finish the game, right? My god. I'm like an idiot who actually uh, gets lost by running in circles all the time. Uh oh, I should not sprint. Why do I always sprint? Uh oh. So wait. I thought that was like, uh, like towards the middle. I'm thinking that I know what I'm doing here. Just because I played it once before. And then. Wait. What the hell was that? Actually, oh, get okay. The key fast. Right, there were two. Like. Oh, yeah, okay. That's how it was. Okay. No, wait. Was it two basements? Or is it just the same? Okay. Look at the floors and everything. If I would see that, I would never want to go here. Huh? Wait, whoa! Okay. He's gonna get my booty. He's gonna eat my booty cheek. I'm not gonna have much of a booty cheek left. He was right there. There, like... Okay, no sprinting, because you can hear me. No sprinting. Whoa, what is going on here? That is new too. Didn't have these knives before, I think.
Oh, there we go. This is what I remember. Let's see, okay. <laughs> this has to be it. Did you hear me? Oh, shit. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm safe here. I can hear his footsteps. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, that sounds like he. Oh my god. What happened? Okay. He, he found me. Was I supposed to be down here? What is this? No, just more of those. It is very red. I don't I don't think I need to crouch though. Okay, we want to just get out again. Not sure where he's standing. My god, make it darker, please. Oh, okay. Um How's it going? Okay, I think we can go around here. Not sure if he's patrolling back again, maybe. I can hear him through the walls, but... I feel like it's so different again. It's not here, is it? You just want to get out again. Hope he doesn't actually walk this way, because then I'm kind of stuck. Need to hide. Hi there? Nobody there, okay. So this... You have changed as well. Because it's red here already. I don't think I remember that. Okay, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Everything's red. Oh no. Don't tell me that thing is here. Look at this. Everything is weird. There are so many chairs all of a sudden. Look at the floor and everything. Really made a good job to make it, like, creepy. <laughs> Look at all that. Okay, guess we go back. Like, he doesn't think this is weird. Forgive me. Oh crap. You don't need to be saved. And they hear hey, come you. Come on, man. We gotta get out of here. Are you listening? We... Lee? No sign of him or anyone at all. I'm taking no Imagine. chances. I'm leaving. Now... Now we want to leave. <laughs> After all we've been through. <laughs> now this one is locked, actually. Imagine. And then this clock. Here. Emergency exit. This should open that door. Hope this works. Ah. Now there's some kind of alarm. That doesn't sound good. Did a lot Soon of changes of here. here. Just gotta keep going. Okay, everything is upside down again. Oh wow, this is so much darker as well. I can't hear it right now. That's a lot of chairs. I can barely see anything. Look at that. Oh. This is also new, isn't it? What? No. No exit. No exit. Dead end? Oh, come on. It's gotta be a way out. Oh, the thing is coming. I can hear it. Who the hell is calling me? Lee? Your handyman skills really came to good use, Georgie. What? Sadly, this is bigger than the two of us. No, 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 no.
<laughs> you did so well with the game. I mean, obviously, it has been like somewhat of a like short time for people to work on this. Like, I don't know how many, how many hours and such, but like, it was really, really well done, honestly. And I got fucked. <laughs> I got debated. What an ass. Got debated. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There was uh, you did a lot of improvements to it too. Actually, really good, really good, very well done, everybody. Holy shit! Always so happy to see. Like, I'm not constantly looking at my partner's screen and like see what's going on every day. So I always see like, um, if you guys are doing blockout or like if he's doing blockout and stuff some scripting and then like i don't know i obviously don't see much of the process but i do see like older versions and i can see like the changes and the improvements and the fixes and so on and overall you've done like such a good job with this game i mean sure it might might be short to like the people who are watching maybe but considering that people have been working on this for like a certain amount of time um, yeah, it's been, it's been really good. Let me just turn this one on again. All right. But yeah, I feel like everyone has done a really good job to make it creepy, even if it's basically just a playthrough, right? Oh, that's the type of game, like you... You walk around, you don't really know what to expect. At least that's how I felt when I first played the game and I was like, hmm, what am I supposed to do here? So you just start grabbing things and start looking at things and you just look at all these details and weird pictures and then you find these symbols. The game kind of explains itself at some point. Um, and then you just run away from this monster. I guess it was kind of nice to be caught by it, one, by it once as well. Just to see what it looks like. Yeah, we are fresh meat. We got debated and something is living down there and the person that we were trying to help just debated us into this. And uh, yeah, whatever they were trying to do. I like the little note at the end as well. And like all these changes like really improved it by quite a bit. So that was pretty, pretty good. So imagine, maybe in the future you guys can work on like more levels or like different scenarios or like a follow-up kind of thing. Imagine. And then you can sell it as a $60 game. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was great. Here's some options, like you would normally go here first to see um, how to do things. But obviously it's like very simple. Very simple uh, keys. You can crouch, you can sprint. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well done. I do like it. Normally I'm not a fan of... Um, like horror games, not because they are scary, but because they are usually very dark. Um, but it's kind of hard to make things creepy if they're not dark. Like, where it limits your vision. So yeah. I hope that uh, you guys liked it. Because that's one of the games that my partner has been working on. And his group. Uh, his school. There are a bunch of other games that I can probably play at some point. I just don't have them right now. A bunch of other things that he has been working on and they they're all really like fun games hubris for example it's more of a how do you how do you explain that game also kind of like a puzzle game and i'm really impressed how well the levels were made you know okay what are we doing now anyhow i knew that i was gonna have some time left uh do I just swap to some dungeons a little? 